What's up, everybody? Boy Two Face back at it with another reaction. Um, this is crazy, man. I've been a fan. I've been a huge fan of of McQueen's for years. Well, I, I probably ain't a OG fan because I found him through like uh through uh through flight. So Illuminati, people like them. Like I didn't know who Flight was to so so Illuminati reacted to him. I, I'm late to the party. I, I seen uh Flight reaction like 2020. But I been watched So Illuminati when I was a kid. That like, I grew I actually grew up watching. I'm glad I said I watched it. But uh McQueen, he's one of the realest ones there. And I, I've been keeping up on his reactions and his actual like vlogs. After he dumb stopped making those prank videos and everything, cause I know that was like his his re uh, no, his original content, making impressions like rapping impressions, something like that. But dude came a long way, hit a million uh, like in his subscriber channel, and I respect this man. But you know we're gonna get into this reaction, find out my sister and flight react slept together. Like these guys right here inside the academy right now making thousands of dollars literally and you guys can repeat this process and make as much money as you want as long as you live in these green states okay so make sure you guys join that click the first thing in the description and enjoy the video All due respect, I respect you getting your work out in, but I ain't trying to see that. We just left the goddamn gym. Another day, another gym day, another gym session. Today was leg day, man, and my legs are shot. Okay, no diddy. Okay, so now we're back to the aqua layer. All right, we got to film these reactions. All right, still got a little bit of a late start today. We woke up at 7.30 instead of our usual 5 a.m. Okay, that was my fault. I take responsibility. I was up too late. I stayed up till like 12 midnight. I need my beauty sleep, man, or else I'm just not going to be able to operate the correct way, even if I do wake up at 5. I respect, I respect the grind. I respect the hustle. I respect the worth ethic. I respect the fact that this man is changing his life. And I, I, I think I, I don't know if I reacted to that video when he got his car to BMW. That shit nice as fuck, though. That shit nice as hell. Like you gotta be, you gotta be an entrepreneur. You gotta be really balling to afford that, man. McQueen, he got it like that. And I'm trying to get like him, to be real. I'm trying to get like him. With a lack of sleep, you know what I'm trying to say? It's just gonna lead to me, you know, gassing out by the middle of the day. Even if I drink some coladas, even if, no matter how much caffeine I try to drink, I'm gonna crash out somewhere in the middle of the day. And then I'm gonna nap for a little bit because with me, I can't really nap. I don't know how y'all be taking these little 20 minute naps. I can't do it. If I knock out, it's over. I'm doing a whole coma sleep. So I avoid the naps altogether. So it's really just, I need my beauty sleep, man. All right, I need my sleep, but you know what? It's all good. Regardless, you know, we take full responsibility for the fact that we made a mistake and now we are dealing with the consequences of that mistake. However, despite mistakes we are still going to get what we need done done no matter what okay because we don't depend on how we feel to get things done all right and i hope you guys are also using that as inspiration to implement that okay do not ever 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 do things based off of how you feel because feelings are a fleeting emotion all of them all right and if you try to follow them like a goddamn female Okay, and use that as your way of guide through this life. You know, it's crazy. I'm so glad I started watching people like him because they actually told me, like, don't rely on motivation. You know, don't rely on your emotions to, like, you can't do things based off how you feel. That is true. That is so 100% true. Because if you try to achieve something based off how you feel about it, you're going to stop feeling that certain type of way about it and you're not going to do it. Because how many times a person did something that was motivated, but they turn around and feel like, oh, it's not gonna work out. They turn around and felt like that. You can't do something based off how you feel. And also, there's nothing wrong with feeling motivated. There's nothing wrong with feeling excited, but you're not gonna always feel excited. You're not gonna always feel motivated. You're not gonna always feel like you wanna do what you wanna do. But at the end of the day, you're gonna have to push through it. You're gonna have to see the end result because I just 
recently got uh YouTube monetized only because I kept shit consistent. I kept my reaction videos consistent. And I did that and I proved everybody I really I proved the haters wrong in my comment section. Yeah, fuck every last one of y'all, by the way. Y'all was talking trash. And I know a lot of a good bit of y'all was making racial comments and about me talking about from section eight. Like y'all really just y'all just you encouraging me to keep going. And I, I I love the fact that every time I make a reaction video, y'all like to say, oh, it's copy and paste, but yet you're not saying no bad things about any other reaction channel, but you want to hate on me for some reason. I don't get that. That's that's just stupid, but okay. But I'm going to still keep doing it, though, and nobody's going to stop me. And, you know, the determinator of whether or not you get your work done, you're never going to get where you need to get, all right? Because there's going to be plenty of days, probably more days where you don't feel like doing it than when you do. Exactly. All right? So if you sit there and do the math, and you count how many days you probably wouldn't do things because you didn't feel like doing it. Imagine how many days the people who are out there who are doing doing things regardless of how they feel. Imagine how much time and how much more compound effect that they're building that is ultimately going to ultimately going to lead to them lapping the hell out your ass. Okay. Do not ever get it confused, Aqua Force. You know. You should only be competing with the man in the mirror at the end of the day, but also remember in the back of your head that it is a competition, okay? I'm not saying that you should be constantly thinking about, you know, competing with other men. Like, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. When you're in your own lane, there is no fucking competition, but at the same time, you are competing against yourself. You are, you are in competition in a way, but not against somebody else and i ain't gonna lie i'm guilty of this too because i felt very insecure about my ability to do things and get things done so i did compare myself to other people and i felt like i had to be better than the next person just to try to make it in life but um i didn't bully nobody or anything it's just how i felt at the time and um i felt like like no not not just me feeling like other people made me feel like I wasn't good enough. So I you know how people project like their personal insecurities onto you and you end up feeling compared to like you're not shit, so you feel like you have to be better than them in order to succeed. I learned to un learn that in a way. Focusing on your own flaws and perfecting them and focus on your craft and do you because i put a lot of work into making reaction videos i know it's not perfect i know it ain't the best quality but i still love making reaction videos i love being a content creator that's what i love to do i love to talk don't you know how many times that i love to talk in front of the classroom when people tell me to shut up or or people don't really want to hear me talk like that's why i, I low-key i really do stay quiet outside of like the doors like i really do stay quiet when i'm at work i don't talk to nobody because they don't care they just want to get in my business but um anyways y'all you guys know what i mean because you when it comes to achieving your own goals you cannot just compare yourself to other people i know people will make you feel like that at first but you do got to remember you're trying to be the better version than the last per than the, you got to be the better version than the person you know you were yesterday you know which that is hard it's, it's a, a challenge every day so yeah don't compare yourself to nobody. Don't feel like you have to achieve something because somebody don't ever do anything for a person. Because if you are, you basically live in somebody else's dream and you want to get laughed at, like you said. I'm not so, saying yeah. that you should be worrying about what other men are doing, what other people are doing. No, you shouldn't be paying any attention to that at all. However, you should in the back of your mind know that there are so, there is someone out there who wants the same thing that you do who was working 10 times harder than you every single time you decide to not do something because you don't feel like doing it all right i'm just letting you know all right and because of that that person is going to get where they want and get what you've been wanting way 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 faster than you 
if you ever that even get true. it because you're not nope you're not even putting anywhere near anywhere near enough work to even get some movement to get some traction this game is all about momentum man you have to keep your momentum up every single time i've made leaps in my career it's because i showed up every single day so keep that in mind aqua force all right y'all excuse the mess inside the aqua layer right now okay right now i'm kind of going through not a reconstruction but i'm cleaning because i just you know washed my sheets and I didn't have time. You know, these days have been so goddamn busy. I just haven't had time. You know, McQueen is a one-man army, essentially, out here, all right? But it's all good. No complaints, all right? We're working. No excuses, okay? We asked for the next level. So the next level comes with next level heaviness. Next level intensity, all right? You can't get mad when the game starts getting harder after you was praying to God for more, all right? Because you can't just get more without doing more. That's just how it goes. That's one thing that y'all don't understand, all right? Y'all think it's just, oh, I wanna get to the next level. I wanna get to the next level. Oh, I wanna get to the next level. I want more. Oh my, oh, I just been sitting here for so long and I, I just feel like I deserve to go to the next level. No, you don't. You know why? Because I guarantee you, if you go in the mirror right now, you look yourself straight in the eyes and you ask yourself, have I been doing enough? Has there been any work that I've been avoiding? Could I be doing more? I guarantee the answer will be yes. Okay? If you kept it 100 with yourself, I guarantee you the answer will be yes. Because if you were doing every single thing that you needed to be doing, there would literally be no room for doubt because you know you're doing every single thing that you need to be doing. You're doing everything that you possibly could to get to the next level. So with a complete, it would, it would, at that point, it's really just a matter of time before you get to where you're trying to come, all right? The magic is in the work that you're avoiding. Always remember that. So whatever that is for you, stop avoiding. Got the Cuban colada, it keeps me going, okay? Cheers. About to take a shower. Mm-hmm, about that time. And let's party. Oh, so he got the, uh, uh, let me see, the OBS studio. On YouTube on his other laptop. Okay. It looks like OBS Streamlabs. Dude, I gotta get that, man. I gotta work my way up and get that shit. I do got a similar mic like him, but his is ten times better. But I think it's it's the same brand though. Very similar. But I need to get myself to that level. It's okay, girl. Cause I'm gonna be alright tonight. Alright, y'all, we got a very crazy video that we're gonna read to here today okay we haven't even started recording on the second channel yet. okay 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 so he got his uh he got his he got his um his vlog channel now he's got his vlog camera that's cool it's sitting on it's sitting beside like on his right and he got his reaction channel i mean no he got his uh his other camera that's reacting that's sick like that's a big ass damn camera and he got the lighting for it and everything that's smart so you can see a face and everything god i know that's freaking expensive that's like hundreds and thousands of dollars man shit i gotta shit but it was killing do that right now nice this apartment is too wild. it's about adam 22 laying in the blood she's over here talking about she she's trying to get knocked down any chance she gets while he's away on trips okay She's trying to get knocked down by other dudes again. But we're about to go ahead and get started. So let's uh, jump straight into it. Ah! What's going on, Aqua Force? Welcome back to the Watching McQueen channel, man. Yes, sir, we are back, man. I hope you guys are having an excellent day today, man. I really need to invest in a bigger blender cup, all right? Because, you know, I've been wanting to put more bananas inside the protein shakes, but, you know, hey, but that's besides the point right now, all right? We just finished uh, doing the reaction. So now we're about to, you know, Hello, key. Wait, did he? I just want to see. I want to. I just want to see like flight situation with flight. Like I like his vlog. Don't get me wrong. But I just want to see. Okay, see, it's like of course then yes. Okay. Meal number two, four eggs. Gotta get to it. All right. No, I'm just vlogging my day. You just called me. Uh, you like my it's just a regular. 
I'm gonna go back because I don't wanna miss nothing. Work hard, all right? And we're gonna move on with the next part of our day. Hi. Hi. What's up? Am I interrupting something? No, I'm just vlogging my day. You just called me. Oh. You like my it's new camera? It's just a regular vlog, huh? You like my new camera? Is that a new one? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Thank you. What is there like something different? What's the No, it's a Go it? It's a GoPro Hero Hero Black. <clears throat> oh, okay. Like, it's like cool. for, it's like for creators. You know what I'm saying? You look pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up? Well, I just wanted to um, <clears throat> talk to you, but I don't know if you wanna vlog it. I mean, I'm just why? What's what is there something private that you don't it shouldn't be on a camera? A little bit, but I mean, I'm just vlogging my life. I, I've been bringing you, they've been asking me to just record every single part of my day, whether it's midday, early morning. Are you recording every day now? Yeah. Oh. What's up? It okay. doesn't It doesn't matter. Are we good? I mean, it's not nothing like deaf to find, deaf like that, right? Not, no, uh, no. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't, as, that would be the first thing I said. God forbid. Okay. Yeah, God forbid. What's up? Um, well, I just wanted to like talk <clears throat> to you about something that I, I feel like I I haven't told you or I've been refraining from telling you. Okay. And what is that? You have to promise that you're not going to get mad. Hello? Do you promise not to get mad? What did you do? I didn't do anything, but you're, you're not answering my question. Do you promise that you're not going to get mad? It's serious. What is it, Danielle? You know your nephew, obviously. Mm-hmm. What? Why are you looking at me like because that? Because why, why are you taking so damn long to say it? Just say it. What's wrong? What happened? You're making me nervous. Well, I didn't know how to tell you, but um, Flight, Flight is his father. Flight is... His father. Damn. Wait, are they still friends like McQueen and Flight? Because I know him and DDG is more, I guess, cool with each other. I feel like, well, that's just my personal opinion. But he said he considered Brenton more as a actual friend, you know? His ride or die friend, Flight, it, I guess, he is his friend, but low key. He's still not a ride or die friend. I don't know how Queen's gonna feel about it though. Mm -hmm. So you did have sex with him. She, even though you told me you didn't. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, man. I don't know if McQueen's gonna ha it's gonna see this like reaction. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. She's a hoe. With all due respect, bro. Because you told her not to be around the person that she chooses to be around with. I understand, like, that's your family. That's your sister and not all that. But at the end of the day, you can't control what she does when she hit a certain age, when she's a grown woman. And that's literally saying for me, vice versa. Like, we, you may not approve what she does, may not even respect what she does, but that's what she doing, that's on her. She got to accept responsibility for her actions. And to be honest, I low-key don't blame you if you choose to cut her off for that, to be honest. Just to be real. Because it seems like she loves messing around a lot. It's just, that's just really how I feel on it, my personal opinion. Just, just to be honest. You literally fucking told me you didn't. 
She's a liar. Women lie a lot. Women lie a lot. You were told that you were not gonna get mad. And, and see, you, you can't, mad. you can't. No, don't come on the fucking phone and say some stupid shit like Why that. No, but no, 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 no. Because I'm uh, no, 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 no. Because you don't ever but want nobody told. lying to you. But you, but you gonna wait all these fucking years, okay? And then you're gonna call me and tell me something fucking major like that. You just fucked my friend. And now you're talking about my nephew is his son? Oh, they already been ba Oh, those already been banging. So she already had the kid. So that's his nephew or oh, niece, whatever. Nephew is a dude. Okay, okay, that's a that's a baby. That's a baby. Uh, boy. Okay. Uh, what I was what I was gonna say. Yeah, like he does. He really, really do got a point. You can't just go around and, and why do women do that? Why do they bang your siblings' friend? That's weird. That's weird. That's that's corny. That's low, low key fake as hell because if he doesn't want you around him, I understand flight. He's successful and everything, but at the same time, when it comes to him making life choices, he 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 lacked the responsibility because he, I know he got an OnlyFans female pregnant with a baby, and he got like some weird uh, chick that he messed around with back in twenty twenty. The end of 2020, then Loki, she was Loki, like, you know, exposing them and making like videos about them. And it got toxic to the point that he uploaded something about it and it got like over 3 million views, but he deleted that one. Um, now, this one, so he basically got a third child. And the second female that I mentioned that did OF is the one that, you know, that was screaming and kicking the door, talking about delete the stream or whatever. And the first one before the second one was the one. That was toxic too. That was basically putting them on child support. The total, yeah, she demanded like twenty thousand dollars for like shopping or something. I don't know, but yeah, flight need to just put it, keep his thing in his pants. I'm gonna keep it real because that dude obviously don't have no responsibilities, no good life choice. He need to learn to make good life choices. I mean, you can't be going around piping people down, especially your friend's sister. But obviously, she's a grown woman. She's going to do whatever she want to do at the end of the day. But I can understand how I'm a queen feel because I have a female sibling, too. So I understand that. But at the end of the day, we can't control who they choose to be around or mess around with. That's on them. You don't have to, like, you really don't have to be there to help her because that's on her. She can raise the kid by herself, you know, which is not your responsibility to begin with or nothing, but you can low-key cut her off at this point, you know? That's just my take on it. It hasn't been years. Fuck on my phone, man. How come flight didn't tell you that? How come flight didn't tell you that? Is he texting? <laughs> I'm is it? joking. Nah, no, I don't. Really... First of all, come on now. Let's put our thinking caps on. That's not funny, Danielle. It's a joke. Uh, I never did anything with him. You can call him. So if I call flight right now and he and and I ask him that yes, he, you can call him. Yes, call him, please. I've never done anything with that man. And you know who Ezra's daddy is. Like, come on now. Let's. Nah, let's she's a liar. A little. No, no, no. Because why would. I wouldn't prank. To be honest, I wouldn't prank like that. That's not funny. Because low key, even though uh, McQueen says he considered Flight as a friend, but he ain't no best friend, though. He ain't no right or die friend. They may be friends, but I don't think when it comes down to it, when it comes to, re to the respect level, to not step out of line 
he ain't that kind of real friend, you know. Why do you get so mad? Oh my god. That's not funny, Danielle. That's not funny. Why would you get so mad? Why the what the what do you mean why would I get mad? Why wouldn't I get mad at that? Does Ezra look like like white to you? Yeah, if I got a fat fat ass head and Ezra kinda got a fat ass head right now, I'm not gonna lie. Are you done being mad? It's literally a joke. Okay, you just called me just to piss me off and, and f my day up, huh? Well I was gonna tell you on your on your birthday, but I felt like it was just that was dope. Yeah, it was. Don't ever call my phone joking about some stupid shit like that again. It's literally just a joke. Oh Laugh shit, and she's lying. I don't think he's gonna laugh at that. I mean, you acting like that's funny. She probably did do something, to, to be honest. Now. Why are you, are you really about to let this stress you out? I'm, I need to go outside. Call him, call him. It's literally a joke. Oh my goodness, you and your dragon. You know, it's weird when, when females lie about stuff like this. They laugh. And smile 24 7. I don't know how they keep their smile up, but their way of lying, they smile in people's faces a lot. They put on that fake smile or they have like a straight face or something like that. They say, I ain't done nothing. Like they ain't have, they, they, I don't know. They make weird eye movements too. Like I think she low key did something. She, she low key did something. She low key did something. If I call him and I find out that you did some shit, I swear to God, I'm coming to Cali and I'm going to whoop your... Oh, my God, I'm going to whoop your motherfucking ass. Literally, I didn't. And I told you, go ahead and call him. Bye. Bye. That was funny. That, that was funny. I'm sorry. That was funny. He, he, it felt like he was low-key about to cry a little bit in his throat. Like, you know, when he said bye. <laughs> Uh oh, he's about to call him. To be continued. To be continued. To be continued. Yeah, that part. To. Damn it. Hey, I wanna. Hey. Uh, I do wanna see a part two, a to be continued video on this. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction video. I know I, I really did. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.